Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for the episode that's coming out, not this week, but next week. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, The Flash is not on this Tuesday. It's just going to be Superman and Lois, so obviously my Superman and Lois video is going to be coming out just at its normal time, so be on the lookout for that. However, you know, The Flash is coming back with episode 12. This is going to be like the first official episode of the second half of the season because we're going to be moving into the Godspeed storyline from here on out. I don't think we're going to see Godspeed in this episode, but we are heading into that sort of territory, and that is super exciting because, I mean, the first half of the season was pretty good. They had some really good episodes, but I think the final two episodes spoiled it a bit. I think a lot of you guys are in agreement. I did think the last episode, episode 11, was much better than episode 10, so it wasn't like a complete waste or anything. Like, it was decent. It was like just pretty average and those last two episodes kind of dragged it down to that average level rather than like really good to good so yeah anyway let's go ahead and break down this trailer this is Cisco's last episode so Carlos's last episode there is still a chance he shows up in the season finale because that was reported when it was first reported that he was actually going to be leaving the show that he would be in the finale so maybe they shot some stuff like before he left or he came back because they just wrapped filming The Flash, if you guys didn't know, like I think like maybe yesterday or like a couple of days ago, they finished season 7 and they're going to be coming back sometime in the summer, I would presume, for season 8. So they've made it like a couple of announcements, you guys can go check out those recent videos where they announced that like at the start of season 8 for the first 5 episodes it's going to be like a crossover type event where you're going to have like individual characters from the Arrowverse coming onto the Flash and so they've also said that Bart is coming back for next season, Jay Garrick is going to be coming back and so we have like a few announcements and a few rough ideas of how season 8 is going to progress so obviously right now we don't know if Cisco is going to be in the picture for season 8 like you know even just like a cameo for one or two episodes but for now we're going to presume not anyway let's go ahead and break down this trailer so the first shot right here is of Cisco inside a very empty looking star labs i don't know what specific area he is but he could be in like the memorial room because maybe he's like leaving something of his behind maybe his goggles or something but he's just here sitting on the ground reminiscing by looking at the photo of original team flash which you see right here and this is obviously very nostalgic and it's going to be very nostalgic and quite sad to see cisco go away because he is an original team flash member and i mean you still got caitlin you still got barry thorn you know doesn't always show up but he occasionally pops up he's going to be popping up one more time in this season and it's a shame that tom cavanaugh is going away but at least he's returning in the finale spoiler alert but let's hope Cisco does as well. So yeah, this photo originally seen Flash from back in like 2014, something like that, when the show first came on. So very nostalgic for me and I'm sure it is for you guys. But we see a shot of Cisco and then Barry in the voice overlay says, from the second I woke up, you've been there. And this is obviously in parallel to that photo you just saw. And so he also continues to say it wouldn't be the Flash without Cisco Ramon, which is true. And I mean, we have not had like the most amount of Cisco over the past couple of seasons because Carlos hasn't been around as much. However, he's still consistently been a series regular. He always shows up and he's always there and we don't, you know, miss his presence because he is always around. But now we're going to miss it and maybe we'll properly feel it next season. It could be a similar thing where you have what happened on Supergirl where Jeremy Jordan left the show and Wim wasn't around and you had Jesse Raff as Brainiac basically replacing his kind of role in the show and at first it just felt off. So maybe it's going to feel like that. However, I do think we really, really kind of know Chester a lot more than we knew Brainiac at that time. However, with time, Brainiac has grown into that role. And so it feels a little bit less weird that Wynn isn't around on Supergirl. And I think it's going to be okay with Cisco gone. 
But anyway, we cut to the next shot. We got Cisco inside Star Labs. And I think this is on the right, like an over the shoulder shot of the Flash's original suit. And we cut to the next shot and you've got Cisco and Caitlyn. They're hugging inside Star Labs and Caitlyn is very sad about him obviously leaving because they are like the best of friends. You get the reverse shot and you see Cisco's reaction. And obviously it's all going to be very sentimental. And Cisco in the voice overlay at the same time is like, let's do this one last time. So they're going to go out for one last battle. And you can see this shot. And it looks like maybe like an air balloon or something. I can't really tell. Or like some sort of blimp in the sky. And anyway, something is going down in the sky. And there is definitely someone taking control of this. And that new villain is a new version of Rainbow Raider, which we do see in the trailer and we'll get to her in just a moment. But you have Barry running throughout the city and he is just here and looking up into the sky. And in a very similar position, he takes a suited up vibe. So it's awesome to see him properly suited up for his kind of final last episode. Allegra is also here and she is wearing Nash's satchel i guess you would call it and sort of nash's coat so i guess she has taken on that mantle of nash wells since he's been gone so that's kind of an interesting development that we see in the trailer however things get very tense in this next bit because barry says to cisco i'm not going to let you die so it seems like cisco wants to sacrifice himself inside this blimp or whatever it is that threatens Central City and so Barry in the shot is like no like you can't die and so what's the chances of Cisco dying well I don't think it's likely that he's going to die because this is the flash and this is not arrow I don't think they're gonna do a green arrow to him and like kill him off like they killed Oliver off I think that Cisco is gonna be fine I think he's gonna go away and they're definitely gonna keep the opportunity open for him to return because I don't think they're gonna want to like throw his character away and be like yes let's just kill him because he's leaving the show but no I don't think that's gonna happen it's obviously going to be a very close call throughout this episode with him wanting to be that hero for this last final mission with Team Flash and so Chester in the voice overlay at this point says this is the end of an era which is definitely true and we're going to need to adapt to it however I think because this is mid-season and there is going to be a lot of stuff happening in terms of the story Godspeed coming and them actually having to devise a plan to stop him and also Bart Allen, Nora returning, Jay Garrett coming back there's going to be a lot going on that I don't think we're going to be too fussed about Cisco not being around maybe the impact will come when we start next season or, you know, towards the end of this season. But anyway, so we cut to the shot of Cisco, his reaction to Barry saying, don't die. And so they're inside this place. And it's definitely piloted because in this shot, it says autopilot engaged and like the camera's all shaky and everything. And Cisco in this shot is trying to control the plane or blimp or whatever it is. So I think that's what he wants to do. He wants to pilot it and sacrifice himself so that Central City doesn't get destroyed. So he's going to pilot it until it crashes. And obviously that's going to be extremely dangerous for him. So we move on to the next shot in the trailer. We got Barry out in the street and he is here. He's coursing with lightning as he looks up to presumably what is Cisco in the sky with the blimp. And this is all caused by the new villain of the episode. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But we've got Cisco again. He looks very sad, presumably inside Star Labs. And this is probably his goodbye scene where he is uh, about to go away. And obviously throughout this episode, Team Flash are going to be taking in his decision. The fact that Cisco is not going to be around anymore is going to be big. Okay, so here we go. This is Rainbow Raider, the new version. I don't know the actress playing her. However, she is able to shoot lining out of her hands. And it's all rainbow colored, obviously. And I'm not sure how she specifically got Rainbow Raiders kind of powers. And I don't know where she's been this whole time. However, she is attacking Cisco and Barry and they are being flung back. And she's probably the reason for this blimp going down in the sky. And we cut to the final shot of the trailer and you've got Cisco inside the ship and he's looking at his gauntlet. And he has a very strong reaction on his face. Maybe a reaction of confusion. I'm not entirely sure. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment, 
likes really help out the videos. Also, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. Click right here to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.